Hi guys, how are you doing? So today is the third day. I'm so excited that you are here today. Um, we've been talking about religion versus relationship, but today I kind of want to deal a different way. Um, I felt God asking us to go a different way and that's unburdening, um, working on our hearts and dealing with offenses and bitterness dealing with offenses and bitterness boy this conversation is such i don't know i just pray we'll be able to be done in a day or two all right um you know it's with the heart that we serve god it is with the heart that we follow god it is with the heart that we love god and now one of the biggest things that we have to learn is that one of the greatest places the enemy fights is not necessarily your soul it is your heart and he does this so easily by using people. Now we live in a world surrounded by people. We are our life is encumbered by people. You encounter people, you live with people. Everywhere you go, there are people. And some people, bless the Lord for their lives, have decided to become Satan's advocate for causing disaster and hurt to your heart, while others unintentionally cause you pain or bring you pain. And sometimes, sometimes, what we do is that we think that, oh, I've forgiven them, I've moved on with my life. I'm not thinking about such things anymore. All things have passed away and now all things have become new and yada, 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 and all that and all that. And then that's what we say. But that story is not complete because sometimes what we do is not the things that we're saying. What we do is that we cast aside our thoughts. We toss it aside and we brush it under the rug. And one day very soon, that carpet will no longer be level because when you keep hiding things under the carpet, it forms like a, a, a hill. And then all of a sudden, when you stand on it, you're going to fall because the floor is not balanced. My point is this, could it be that offense is robbing you of your relationship with God? And it's so easy to get angry. And it's so easy to think that because I no longer feel angry, I've dealt with the root cause of it. Oh, or my favorite one, you know, when you say, I've forgiven them, I've forgiven them, I'm just keeping to myself, I'm just staying on my own, let's all keep to ourselves and respect ourselves. Sometimes that's code for, I'm keeping malice with this person, I don't want anything to do with this person, let this person stay on their own, let me stay on my own, let me face my front. When I see them, that resentment rise my heart, the anger, the pictures of the things that they've done, it rises again and all of a sudden I'm back to square one, I'm back to being frustrated, I'm back to being offended, I'm back to being um, upset by the things that they've done, the things that they've said, the things that they've permitted, the things that they've permeated. And you know, this morning God is saying to you, let go. Whenever you're watching this, God is saying to you, let go. Let go of the offense. Let go. And I know it may be hard because you may say to me, rejoice. You don't know what they've done to me. Rejoice. You don't know how much they hurt me. You don't know how deep the betrayal hurt. Do you know what I did for these people? Do you know how I helped them? And this is how they paid me back. How can I continue like this? I, I, I We all have our stories. I mean, we we all sit and have horror stories about what people have done to us, how people turn their backs on us, how people that we feel, oh, I made this person, I helped this person, and this is how this person is paying me back. They're not paying me back with the same with the same cards that I dealt to them. God is asking you to let go. Man is not the rewarder. The Bible did not say man is the rewarder of those that help them, that help him. God is the one that you are, is your rewarder. We are doing all these things as unto the Lord. And I know it hurts. Forgive. And it's just 
see today as another healing session, right? We had a healing session earlier on this year. See today as another healing session. Let God just heal you of you're angry with your parents. Some of you are angry with your dead parents. They are dead and you're still angry with them. And some of the parenting styles that you're inculcating in your children today is because you want to prove that you can parent better than them. Some of you are scared of marriage because of the things that you saw in your parents. I just perceive here that a couple of people are heartbroken, that certain relationships that they expected to lead to marriage, they got broken, they got, they got served breakfast, according to Nigerians. You know, now's the time to surrender it. I learned something lately and that's to ask myself a question. Am I angry about this thing or am I angry about how it made me feel or am I carrying other situations and other stresses and putting it in here? What exactly am I fighting for? <sighs> So liberating to ask yourself those questions. What exact so that you will know what exactly am I fighting for? What exactly is making me angry? Because can I tell you something that is so shocking? Some of these people that you're angry with and carrying in your heart, they're not thinking about you. You are the one that is going around with the pain. They are fine. The first time I read, and, and they said, forgiveness is not about the person. Forgiveness is about you. That brought me to my knees on many levels because, yo, I thought it was the person that was holding the people that needed. No, 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 no. Forgiveness is about me. It's about me, me. Forgiveness. 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 You need to let go. I know it hurts. Trust me. It, <laughs> I know it hurts, but it started with us and it, it has to end with us. You have to let it go. I know you still feel the pain and I'm not negating the pain. Whew. I just heard the Lord say that some of you are angry with him. Some of you are so bitter towards him. And even when you pray, you're almost praying kind of like, let's just pray. If it happens, fine. If it doesn't happen, fine. Is he not God again? He does what he wants. That even when God is giving you instructions, you're treating his instructions like a desically because you believe that he's treating your life like a desically release it really release it don't hold it don't hold on to it let it go it's not worth it let it go let it go it's not worth it Unburden your heart. Today is going to be different. Today's personal. We're going to have a healing session this evening, right? So we're going to have a healing session this evening. But 
yeah, I just feel by the spirit of God that we need to have a healing session. But I want you to do something today. I want you to sit down and think about the hurts that you feel, the pain that you feel, and ask the Holy Spirit to open up your heart and to do a surgery. There's this song by Victoria Renze. I think I'm going to share it with us as well to maybe play it as we pray and just ask God to do a surgery on our heart and just open our heart up and just let us really, really come to that place where we can, man, guys, we can say I'm free from pain, I'm free from bitterness, I'm free from malice, I'm free from offense. Because can I tell you the truth? The enemy's strategy this year is offense, bitterness, and dishonor. And disconnection too. There are many strategies, but these four are the major ones. Offense, bitterness, dishonor, disconnection. So if he can get you offended and bitter, he will make you to dishonor the one that God has anointed to speak over you. And he will cause you to be disconnected from the anointing. For some of you, he will disconnect your heart, consciously disconnect your heart from the one that God has placed over you. When he disconnects you, you know the second thing that he does? He will cause you to dishonor them. And then even in your dishonor, you will be offended in them. You will be bitter in your heart. So it's either one of this way or that way, but he that's the aim. That Those four, it's like it's going like this. That's his target this year. That's his way to cut you off. I don't mean cut you off of destiny. I mean including your life. So now is not the time to dilly-dally or play religion or say, um, I've forgiven everybody. No. Go to God. Ask him to do a surgery on your heart. Ask him to show you who are the people I'm offended at? Who are the people that I'm angry with that have been using church church grammar to hide? It is well. The Lord bless you. Bless you, sir. All those things. You are angry, my dear. It is not well anything. It's not well. Stop speaking church. It's relationship we want. Your heart is your altar, the altar of destiny, the altar where transactions of your life is determined when your heart is contaminated. The Bible says out of your heart flows the issues of life. So that means that your life flows from your heart. And that means that if your heart is corrupted, it means that your life would inadvertently be corrupted. It is only a matter of time because a corrupt heart will always produce a corrupt life, a corrupt destiny. A corrupt outcome. You can pretend all you want, but time will reveal. Time will reveal so much. So prayerfully, just listen to that song. Cry. Cry if you need to. Let God do the surgery in you. Tonight, we're going to have a healing session. I'm going to pray for you for emotional healing, for mental healing, for psychological healing. Those of you that were raped, those of you that, man, have been through certain traumas. I posted something in, on my status the other day. And I said, people deal with trauma differently. It can either be a blessing or it can destroy them. They can either find purpose through that trauma, or it can be the end of the road for them. You decide what your outcome will be. Every one of us is dealing with residual pain. We think we've healed, oh man. But really, some of the things we're doing is suppressing what actually is going on. So think on these things. I'll see you tonight at 8. You don't have to post it. You don't have to post your journey through your prayer time, but I really hope that you do it. And um, maybe you just post done. I'm going to post this link with Victoria Renda's spiritual surgery song link. And um, I trust God that at the end of today, you will be healed.
you really will be healed. Anyways, I, I love you guys and I'm praying for you. We're ending this with a stronger journey and walk with God than you ever thought was possible. God bless you guys and bye for now.